Okay guys, got her nice and cooled down. So we're going to start the turning process. Uh, I'm using a TP2500 insert, which is pretty good for uh, stainless. So we're going to try that, see what it does. See where I'm at. Okay, got about 28 thousandths to come off of it. I'm gonna take another five and just uh, let let it make a pass all the way down. Okay, looking pretty good. I can see I was a little bit low in there, but we still got plenty of metal to clean up. It's leaving a nice finish on it. It's cutting like it's like stainless. Okay, we still got about 22 to come off, so I'm gonna make another 10 thousandths pass and then we'll make us a cleanup pass. Okay, doing good. Let's go ahead and make us a, a finished cut on this and I'm gonna leave enough that I can polish it. Okay, so we got about, I've been getting a thousandths taper in it. <clears throat> I'll just keep comparing the ends. Uh, we got 13 thousandths to bring it to two and a half here. So. I'm going to dial in 12 thousandths and then we're going to do a, a, a polish on it. All right, that's gonna be our finished cut there. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring this tool around some like this. Kind of line up on that angle there. Uh, not too bad, let me uh, try a little cut there and see what it does. See what I'm doing there? Trying to peel it off.
it's going to try to chatter on me out there, so I'm going to have to file that and polish it. Okay, let's see. Let's see how we did. Okay, one thousandths off there. All right, and I'm two thousandths on that end, so <clears throat> time to do some polishing. All right, I don't know if, how well you can see it, but on these threads here, <clears throat> I got quite a bit of metal buildup on there, and it's hard to get off stuff like that. You know, I've got my little pick here, and i am been kind of scratching at it, and it's pretty well stuck to it. I might come in here once I'm ready to take this off and just turn those threads off there. So I'm not having to fight that the the uh, the metal in the, anyway. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna speed it up and we'll get some memory cloth here. I'm gonna use some 120 and give it a nice polish. Because of the little bit of taper, I'm focusing more on this end than that end. I'm trying to take a little more off there. Good. All right, I still got that that thousands taper, so I'm gonna keep working it on this end a little bit, and <clears throat> it starts warming up. So I can already feel the heat in it. It starts warming up, and uh, you have to let it cool for you to get a good size on it. Just trying to push that scotch bright up in that area to clean it out some, get the dust out of it. And We're looking pretty good there. Let's clean it up good there. I'm going to do some more filing and try to eliminate those chatter marks there. But it, it's looking good. I think we're, you, you've just about seen what we're doing here. I'll probably do a little more fine polishing on it. Okay. Yeah, well, I think we're looking good there. What I'll do is, uh, I'll show you. Hold on. I'm going to take some War Out 400 and we're going to hit that. We'll hit a little Scotch Bright. This should brighten it up really nice. Brad, using your Scotch Bright, man.
there we go. That's pretty much the finished product there. Like I said, I'm going to do a little more filing here and uh, we're going to let it cool down. All right. I went ahead and, and turn this down a little bit here to clear the threads. That made it a lot easier too. <clears throat> okay. About to get my fingerprints on it. Alright, well there it is. First one done. You can see my seam here. It blended in nicely. Once you get your fingerprints on it, you can pretty much just rub it <laughs> and then uh, get a rag and wipe it good and it kind of makes it even then. Because seeing just a few fingerprints on it suck. So, alright, well I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get this cleaned up here and I'm going to set the other one up and I'm going to do the same thing that you just seen here. So, um, I'll bring you back whenever I have them both done for some final words, okay? I'm just showing you the second one. I'm making my first pass across there now, and everything's looking good, just like the first one. Okay, we got them both finished up. Just giving you a final peek at them. Um, kind of late here. I'll probably be calling the customer tomorrow morning. He said that he would come pick them up as soon as I have them done. Uh, but I'll, I'll snap some pictures and throw them in there so you can see it better. But it turned out good. I'm, I'm happy with them. And they're on size. They, they look nice. So, And that's what they want. <clears throat> and he uh, specifically was looking for me because he heard that I, that I do spray welding. And that's how he wanted them fixed. He wanted them spray welded. Uh, evidently, these parts are quite expensive to, to buy. You know, anything for a boat, marine application is always pricey. And, <clears throat> I mean, not, not to say that you couldn't make these things. You could make them, but you know, it would be expensive to make them too. So, this works out good. That's The metallizing is a, is a good fix for parts like this. It's cheaper than building new ones or probably buy new ones from the manufacturer you know so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed watching uh, it's been a pretty good project uh you know i've been out here playing most of the day and i was glad to share it with you and get a little bit of machining under our belt here and uh, yeah that's it we'll see you guys on the next one okay later on